Rebecca. My age, you know I've been to a lot of doctors. <laughs> Healthcare partners, they really care. They're concerned about your health. They're all the best. I am Roberta, and I am a healthcare partner. Visit hcpnv.com to hear my story. Today's news is brought to you in part by Dr. George Leakes, Pahrump's optometrist since 1990, offering full-spectrum eye care for children and adults. Call today, 727-8300. And if you're a Utilities Inc. customer, you might want to listen to this story. The Public Utilities Commission approved a rate request by Utilities Inc. of Central Nevada that allows commercial water consumption rates to increase 6.3% on all monthly sewer fees, increase 10.16%. Residential water consumption charges will go down. They will drop from $1.21 per 1,000 gallons for the first 6,000 gallons used per month to $1.19 and from $2.04 per 1,000 gallons up for use between 6,001 to 30,000 gallons to $2 and from $3.11 per 1,000 gallons for use over 30,000 gallons per month to $3.04. Nye, County Nye County's Deputy District Attorney Charlie Watkins was laid off this past week. The county budget, which is now in the hands of manager Pam Webster, is reorganizing the county employees' positions. Watkins' job was a casualty. The 2013-14 fiscal year budget needs an $888,000 overhaul. Furloughs for employees have been discontinued. The union wouldn't agree to the days off again this year, though even though, even though some employees said they enjoyed them. Charlie Watkins had spent 10 years with the district attorney's office. And the Relay for Life wrap-up party will be held tomorrow night at Ian Deutsch Memorial Park, located off Front Valley Boulevard and Honeysuckle Street. This Saturday night, the Relay for Life is having a wrap-up party at Ian Deutsch Memorial Park. We're going to speak to Marion Maxfield. We are having a Relay for Life wrap-up party this coming Saturday night. That's June 1st. It's going to be at the Ian Deutsch Park, and it's going to be Saturday night. It starts at 6 o'clock p.m. to 8 o'clock, and it's sort of a wrap-up party for the Relay. And what we do is we hand out awards and recognitions, and uh, we plan next year's Relay. And I don't know, it's going to be exciting. The only thing I know about next year's Relay is that Shonda Whelan is still going to be the event chair, so that's going to be good. And we want the public to come. We need volunteers, we need co-chairs, chairs, we need uh, volunteers, we need walking teams. And it's going to be like a potluck picnic. Mm -hmm. So either bring a potluck dish or bring your own little pot, little picnic dinner if you want to. And it's just going to be a, a great party. And, and the Relay was just so successful, and we're just so excited about next year already. And we had a great turnout for Relay. We raised over $37,000. And we have the rest of the year to keep raising money. So I'm thinking we're going to hit 38 personally, and uh, which is you know remarkable for a small town like Pahrump. So please come Saturday night to the Ian Deutsch Park, six o'clock. Bring a little dish or a little picnic, and just you know just come see what we're about. If you've never been to Relay, I mean, holy cow, it's fantastic. We'll see you there at Ian Deutsch Memorial Park from six to eight p.m. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. Today's save a pet is Cooper. Cooper is looking for a family to call his own. Save a Pet is generously brought to you by Auto World at 727-8000 and Greenspan Brokerage at 751-6200. Put the green team to work for you. Hi, welcome to West Star Ranch. We're here with Cooper today who is a Cataluna dog known as a lizard dog. He is a special breed and he is eight years old. He's neutered and current on his shots. If you're interested in adopting him, please come visit us at 780 Mance Road, just west of Prompt Valley Boulevard, or give us a call at 727-9273. If you would like to sponsor Save a Pet, give us a call at 727-9400. To adopt, donate, or contact West Star Ranch, call 727-9273. Oh my gosh, Cooper is so cute. Angela Miles brings you today's business news with your first business brief. 
This is the first business brief for Friday, May 31st. I'm Angela Miles. The longest hotel strike in history has ended. After a decade of protesting low wages outside the hotel, the union says the decision to end the strike was hard, but it is the right time for the union and strikers to move on. The hotel's attorney called the end a surprise. The union claims the boycott effectively and dramatically reduced the hotel's business. Microsoft is hoping to lure back customers with a reboot of its operating system. Windows 8.1, the new name for Windows 8, now includes a start button and promises to be easier to navigate. And nearly a quarter of U.S. workers are sleeping on the job. Snoozing is costing the economy more than $63 billion per year, which is equal to 11 working days per employee, according to a study. Some employers are now offering nap rooms. That's a First Business Brief. I'm Angela Miles. Well, the weather is warming up, and there's a lot of events coming out this weekend. So uh, let's, when we come back after this break, let's find out from Ian what we got in store for us. Join us at the Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino with the number one gaming experience and entertainment. The Prompt Nugget has the number one dining experience at Stockman Steakhouse, Golden Harvest Cafe, and the Gold Miners Buffet. Come get your game on at the Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino. News 46 weather is brought to you by Healthcare Partners Medical Group. With five locations in Pahrump, local doctors and professional staff providing total care from infancy to seniors. News 46 weather is also brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. For more information, you can visit their website at nevadadairycouncil.org. Welcome back today. Sunny skies, really dry and hot. 94 for your high. Winds coming out of the north, northeast at 7, gusts at 16, so really not much relief there. Humidity 7%, very low, 528 a.m. sunrise, and a record high of 104 degrees in 2002. Tonight, clear skies, 64 for your low. Winds coming down a little bit. 12% humidity, 755 p.m. sunset, so almost there, 8 o'clock, and record low of 47 degrees in 1937. So, looking on to Saturday, the first day of our weekend, we're going to have sunny skies again and a little bit warmer, 96 for your high, 69 for your low, winds north 4, gusts at 6, again 7% humidity, 528 a.m. sunrise and UV indexing at 10. Our 7-day forecast really just punishing temperatures all across the board, all pretty much under 100 degrees, lows all under 70, except for Sunday, which is 101 for your high and 71 for your low, and just sunny conditions all those days. Thanks so much, Ian. And if you're watching our 5 o'clock broadcast, then you might have experienced some technical difficulties there with the audio in the first part of the broadcast. That has been corrected. We want to remind everybody not to forget foot golf at Lakeview Executive Golf Course on Saturday morning. It's free to the public, and the sessions are at 9 a.m. and noon. Of course, Lakeview Executive Golf Course is located off of Prump Valley Boulevard and Mount Charleston. We'll see you there. The Southwest Medical Associates are celebrating their two-year anniversary tomorrow with a barbecue in the Calvada Eye beginning at 11. Lots of fun events this weekend. We'll see everybody out there. That's going to do it for this edition of News 46. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. And I'm Jason Koblenz. See you here on Monday. Good night. Good night.